Hey there. Earlier this year, I saw an artist post a video of her ceremonially burning her art. She had decided that it wasn't worth trying to sell anymore, and this was her form of protest over what she saw as, as you know, people don't buy art, that sort of thing. And this made me really sad. Now, I understand the feeling. I've had a lot of personal projects, art projects, performance projects f fail and die an ignominious death. And, and you probably get it too. You probably understand the feeling. You, you might not be ready to burn your art, but you probably get the frustration. And you might be feeling that selling art is hard. And, and even, even if you are selling some pieces here and there, it's easy to get stuck in your studio and dealing with things like packing and shipping and finishing commissions and never getting to work on your own projects and, your own, and the stuff that comes from your own vision. And you may not have the time to market yourself. And once the activity dies down, you suddenly have no idea where your next sale is going to come from. Or perhaps you're spending so much time marketing that you're feeling like you don't get to make art anymore. It doesn't have to be that way. Artists often think that marketing is all about spending all of your time bothering people about your work. Successful artists know that it's all about creating connections with your right people, not just anybody, but the right people, and then discussing ideas with them that matter. Because, because that's what art is, it's something that matters. And that's how you get results like the artist Adam Hall. A couple of years ago, Adam was working part-time at Whole Foods trying to make ends meet. And Adam started reaching out to his audience through his email newsletter, sharing some interesting personal insights along with his art. Adam has told me that he was connecting with his audience in a way that he didn't expect. He said, this is a quote, when people would buy a painting from me, they would say that they liked reading my email newsletter at work. That wasn't luck. I think a big part of the art business is communicating to people that you care about what you do. And if you can do that consistently, then people want to buy artwork from you. Isn't that a great quote? So Adam's now making enough money to support his wife and his child, and they just bought a house in New Orleans. And Matt LeBlanc, another artist, toiled for years at a day job when he made art on the side in his spare time. He started taking his work to local shows and talking to people and seeing how people reacted to it. And as he zeroed in on his pricing and understood who would be interested in his work, he decided to put together a live show where he would paint in front of an audience alongside singers and dancers and, and other people. And people love the show. And Matt, it, Matt sells out his audiences. He sells out an auditorium of 800 seats for people to come and watch him paint alongside singers and dancers and performers. And they love seeing what he's doing and can't wait to come to, to see what he's doing next. And they buy his work there at the show and afterward. And, and for me, the list of successful independent artists goes on and on. There's Angela, a partially deaf artist from California who sells sculpture, uh, original abstracts, and print-on-demand ebooks of her work. And then there's Ada, an artist that I worked with from Hawaii a couple of years ago who sold enough of her work online to move to Europe and be with her loved ones there. So the, the problem, of course, that it's, it's hard to connect with artists like this, artists who are making it happen, because they're sitting in their studios, they're doing their thing, and they're so busy. And for some reason, it's not a normal part of the fine art world to get together with other successful artists and talk about what's working. Instead, you get a bunch of artists who get together and complain. But I want to change that. Uh, if you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Corey Huff, and I run a company called The Abundant Artist. And for the last six years, I've had the good fortune of working with artists from all over the world who are making awesome things happen, but kind of flying under the radar. These are artists who are not getting written up by the New York Times art section or whatever, but they are thrilling their collectors with their work and they're making a great living doing what they do. So I wanna bring these artists together with artists like you who are doing what they love but struggling to figure out how to make money from it. But it's also more than that. I wanna create a space where artists can meet each other in a collaborative environment. We can do so much more if we start working together instead of seeing each other as competitors all the time. And when it's over, I want you to come away knowing exactly what you need to do in order to grow your art business, to cover your expenses in the next year. And if you're, if you're already profitable, if you're already making money from your, from your work, I wanna help you come away with ideas on how to grow your revenue by 50% or more over the next year. The Abundant Artist Conference is what we're calling it because that's the name of, of my company, it's the name of, of the community that we've created, and it's the core idea of a movement that I'm trying to make happen where artists start talking about money and life abundantly, and we make 
the idea of the starving artist, a myth that is a thing of the past. So here's the rundown on the conference particulars. It's happening July 1st and 2nd, 2016, that's next year, in Portland, Oregon. So it's gonna be two full days of learning. We're gonna put everybody in a room and we're gonna have a, a bunch of artists who I'm gonna talk about uh, get up on stage and talk about the various ways that they have become successful. And then we're gonna workshop some of those ideas. And I just wanna give you a little rundown on who some of the speakers are, and I'm looking at my list here. So one is Owen Garrett. Uh, if you've been following our podcast at all, uh, Owen's po episode of our podcast is one of one of our most popular episodes of all time. Owen's got a million dollar annual business selling art. Uh, he lives in Regina, Canada, uh, not a big metro center, but uh, Owen does very very well. Uh, Kelly Ray Roberts is going to come, and if if you live in the Pacific Northwest, Kelly Ray Roberts is ubiquitous. It's everywhere, but Kelly Ray, uh, you know, over ten million dollars in sales over the last four or five years. Uh, she was a former social worker turned very very successful artist, and she's going to get up on stage and tell us a little bit about her story and how she got to where she's at. Uh, Matt LeBlanc, uh, I mentioned Matt uh, earlier in this video. Matt's going to get up and talk about his uh, stage show called Fusion. Uh, he's going to talk about how he got onto HGTV and a bunch of the other stuff that he's done. Uh, my good friend Matt Richards, he's a mobile artist. He makes uh, these big, beautiful kinetic pieces uh, that are sort of reminiscent of Alexander Calder. And Matt's work is in private collections all over the world from, uh, you know, hospitals and corporate headquarters all over the U.S. to uh, some guy's giant mansion in Dubai. So Matt does some great sculpture work. I'm excited to have him there. Uh, Gwen Seemel uh, is going to come. Uh, Gwen has been uh, an artist. She used to live here in Portland, Oregon, but now she lives in Virginia. Uh, she's made a living from her art for the last 10 years outside of the gallery system. Uh, these are just a, a few of the speakers. We have other speakers who are who have tentatively committed to coming. I can't announce them yet, uh, but here's the deal. The reason that I'm talking about this now, uh, even though the conference is more than seven months away, is we need to put down a deposit uh, so that we can get uh, the uh, space and we need to uh, give a, our event planner a deposit. I, I am trying to work with some of the best event planners that I know so that this is an awesome experience. It's not going to be the kind of thing where you just sit in a room and listen to a bunch of people lecture. We're gonna actually have you workshop your, your business. We're gonna pull some people up on stage and have you talk through your art business and your problems. We're going to uh, give you real specific answers to what you're doing. And, uh, and we're also gonna have some really cool activities. I've got this art project planned that if we can pull it off, is gonna be super, super fun. It'll be a collaborative art project with everybody that's there. Um, now, let's talk about a couple of the reasons, that, a couple of questions you might have. Uh, if, if, by the way, if, if you're ready to go right now, if you want to just sign up, you can head over to AbundantArtistConference.com. There will be a link in the in the comments below. Uh, AbundantArtistConference.com to, to sign up. But a couple of questions that have come up over the last couple of weeks since we announced the conference. Uh, some people have said that they can't afford it. Um, I get it. You know, some people, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But I'll tell you this. $250 for... Uh, this conference is crazy cheap. That is the pre-sale price. We're just trying to put together enough sales so that we can put down a deposit for the space and the event planner. Uh, $250 is super, super cheap. Uh, the eventual price for the conference will probably be around $500. So right now it's half off. And conferences like this, uh, when I go to them, they're, they're typically more than $500. Uh, you know, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on conferences. Uh, this is, I'm trying to keep this as inexpensive as possible because I know that a lot of you are struggling artists who are trying to figure it out. But there's a big difference between paying 50 or or $100 to go to a little local conference in whatever town you're in uh, where you might learn from, you know, one or two people who uh, do this by traveling around the country full time and, and that's all they do or uh, learning from a couple of local artists. This is, uh, I'm getting some of the best artists uh, in the world at, at selling independently, working outside the gallery system, making great art and, and doing what they love and creating lives for themselves that is fantastic. And we're gonna get a, a bunch of those artists up on stage to talk to you. So the, I, I'm really excited about what we're putting together for this price point. Um, meeting, the other thing about this is you'll get, you're gonna be able to meet artists from all over the, the world, hopefully. Think, not hopefully, 
fingers crossed. <laughs> um, you're going to meet artists from all over the country. We are, we've already sold a handful of tickets to artists from all over the place. So I'm excited about the potential of people coming from all over to a attend the conference. And it's really fun because you don't just get the same group of artists coming from your local area or the same group of artists in the major metros in New York, Chicago, and LA or whatever. Um, and one of the other objections that people throw out is, hey, I don't see the kind of art that I make there. Uh, it doesn't matter. The, the principles that we're teaching are, are marketing principles, and they're going to work no matter what kind of art that you make, whether you're a painter or a sculptor, whether you do fine art or commercial art, whether you like the artists who get up on stage or not. I think with the variety of artists that we have, you're going to like some of their work, even if you don't like all of the work. And that's not really the point. The point is you can learn from these artists who are marketing themselves. You can learn how to do what they're doing and apply it to your own work. So I would love to see you there. I hope that you will consider coming to the Abundant Artists Conference. And if you have any questions, I am around. You can certainly ask. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>